Hello, and welcome to another edition of Orthopedic Sports Medicine Patient Educational Series with Dr. Adam Duracki. In this video, we're going to go over the specific surgical procedure required to perform a distal biceps tendon repair. This is a left arm, and you can see that this is the elbow joint. This is above the elbow in the location of the biceps muscle itself. Down below the elbow is the forearm with the hand being down out of the picture. When the biceps tendon ruptures, it usually ruptures like this, where it ruptures close to its insertion point on the upper end of the radius. As we look at this tear, we see that as the biceps tears, it retracts up and away from its original attachment site on the bone. This retraction of the tendon makes it almost impossible to heal on its own because the tendon is no longer remotely close to its attachment site. And this is why these injuries require formal surgical repair. The previous attachment site is on this bump of the bone called the bicipital tuberosity. And it is this portion of the bone that we are aiming to reattach the biceps tendon so that it is in an anatomical position. This particular surgical animation describes a single incision biceps repair technique. I personally perform a two incision technique whereas we make an initial incision in the front to retrieve the tendon and place sutures and then a second incision in the back to actually repair it back to the bone. However, the technique of fixing the tendon back to the bone is identical whether doing it through one or two incisions. So initially we will make an anterior incision and we will retrieve the biceps tendon out of the wound. The far end of the tendon is then trimmed to get it down to appropriate size for the drill hole. We then will whip stitch the terminal two centimeters of the tendon to gain better control over the tendon. We then take these sutures and pass them through a cortical button that is used to reattach the tendon to the opposite side of the bone. Now we have our button in place. We will drill a guide pin through both sides of the bone in order for placement of the button. We will then drill one side of the bone in a hole with a diameter that matches that of the biceps tendon. We then use an insertion device to pass the button through and through to the opposite side of the bone. That button is then flipped on the cortex of the bone and the sutures are tightened to bring the biceps tendon down into the drill hole. We then will give a little preliminary backup fixation by suturing the button suture back to the biceps tendon before securing the tendon to the bone with an interference screw. This screw is made out of peak or plastic and so it is not visualized with an x-ray. The excess sutures are then removed. This completes the repair of the distal biceps to the bicipital tuberosity of the upper portion of the radius. It is crucial at this point that once the tendon is reattached, I then place the arm through a range of motion to see just how tight the repair is. As we discuss in the office, this can determine how quickly or how aggressively we proceed forward with the formal outpatient physical therapy. I would like to thank Arthrex for providing the implants necessary to perform a distal biceps tendon repair. I would also like to thank Arthrex for providing the surgical animation necessary to review this video with you. I hope this video has helped you to better understand distal biceps tendon repairs. Have a great day.